Welcome to this new JustMe video. So JustMe is currently still moving to the downside. Are we close to the end of this correction? And what are the next support levels below us? Before we dive into the video, I want to make you guys aware of my Signal Group. It has helped a lot of people to make serious profits. You don't need to have any special knowledge to start making money with it. When you join my Signal Group, you will receive alerts on the most promising trades, including entry and exit points. We are constantly outperforming the market with an average win rate over 70%. You can find the link in the description. So this is the daily time frame for JustMe and for the new subscribers, a quick recap. JustMe was trading in his descending wedge from of March 2022. On the 1st of January in 2023, we broke out of it. The official price target is the top of the wedge coming in at 4.9 cents. I do think that we are going to reach this target within quarter 2 or possibly quarter 3 of 2023. This will not be in a straight line. Each Fibonacci level here on the chart will provide resistance. So at the moment, JustMe is trading at 0.0052. And right now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. So as you can see, we are trading in this so-called descending wedge here uh, in the shorter term as well. Um, and uh, I think we are close to a potential breakout. But at the moment, we are still trending to the downside. In this video, I'm going to give you my exact support target. So if just me drops lower from off this point, there is actually strong support within this green support box. Um, I do expect us eventually to uh, land into the zone. If we... Um, draw out a Fibonacci retracement from the bear market low here towards the swing high we have made here on the 8th of February. We can actually see that the golden Fibonacci ratio, as I stated also in my previous updates, is starting here at 486. And if we drop lower than that, then there is another golden pocket on the logarithmic time scale at 418. So this is the ideal retracement area for such an Elliott Wave 2 correction, because I do believe we are right now in this wave 2 from of the bear market low. We moved up in a wave one. And when this wave two is finished i do expect us to move up impulsively in a third elliott wave so yeah in this wave two we are forming an abc move so we already moved down in an a wave we came up in a potential b wave here to the upside and right now we are moving down in the c wave and there are different possibilities of calculating calculating the length here uh, the target of this C wave. So what we can do, I'm trading most of my altcoins on BitGet. BitGet is a non-KYC exchange with some of the cheapest trading fees compared to other exchanges. If you sign up through my link in the description, you can claim up to 5,000 US dollars in bonus rewards and also 15% discount on all your trading fees and you support the channel as well. So make sure to check BitGet out. We can measure the length of this A wave and then we can place this thread based FIP tool at the peak of the B wave. And then we are looking, first of all, for the one to one ratio. Um, we are actually exactly at the one to one ratio. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if we would see a breakout from off this point. But if this level is not going to hold, then I do expect us to go towards the next target, which is, yes, yeah, somewhere here. Um, first of all, the top of this box, but anywhere in this box, we could see more confluence. So yeah, what is what would also be an indication that we are already bullish is a break above this uh, yeah trend line here of resistance of the falling wedge. If we break out of this trend line, then we have already uh, broken this imminent downtrend. And then I do expect a strong bounce to the upside for just me. Yeah, so th that are the things that I'm currently monitoring this falling wedge and also the uh, horizontal support levels. So watch that carefully. Uh, at the moment on the daily time frame, we are still under a buy signal. Uh, this momentum indicator here has flashed a buy signal on the 5th of March. So basically three days ago. And uh, according to this, we should experience more upside momentum shortly. Stochastic RSI at the moment still heading down. So we are hovering around here. Not a real decision yet. Uh, MACD is losing selling pressure, but we don't have a bullish crossover yet. So I do think that we are close to a potential breakout, but it wouldn't surprise me if we would first of all just see one more low before breaking out. So I'm looking at this very closely. Let's also take a look at the four hourly time frame for just me. So this is the four hourly time frame and you can clearly see uh, that the Bollinger Band range is pretty narrow here. So it wouldn't surprise me if we would see a volatile move maybe even today. 
Um, we can also see that the momentum is pushing to the downside again here. RSI is moving upwards. We are forming higher lows, but the price is basically flat. Uh, so if we make one more low in the price into my green support box, then we have a confirmed bullish divergence. And from there on, I do expect a strong breakout. That's the thing I'm looking at right now. So in the imminent short term, there is a little bit of negative momentum. So a break, uh, a move down wouldn't surprise me. But I think we are close to the end of this pullback. And for those of you who are want, uh, waiting for yeah, good entry prices, I do think that the current prices are absolutely phenomenal to DCA into just me. Uh, for the mid and long term but again this is not financial advice always do your further research before you invest your money and that's my quick analysis please like the video subscribe to my channel i want to thank you guys for watching and i see you in the next just me update bye bye